my good friend Diane. Hi, friend. Hey, how are you? Good. Good. Um, thanks for having me. This is awesome. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a couple of years, but it's good it's to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, exactly. I love it when I, my friends are like, you're into dream interpretation? Hey, can you <laughs> interpret my dreams? And I'm like, come on the show. And then they do. That's awesome. Jump on. Yeah. Mm, I, yeah. I'm glad you mentioned something about yawning. I'm like, John, we are boring you to tears. <laughs> <laughs> No, Anyways. I assure you it's not that. I know, I know. But. I've I've been through it. Um, okay, so let me share with you what it is. It was very brief. It was very impactful, I felt like. So that's why I reached out to you. So I'm standing at the top of an icy mountain. Mm. And there is someone standing to my right. I don't know who they are, so they may not be important. <laughs> like you said, I don't know who it is. Uh, straight ahead, if you look down, we were at the edge of the at the edge of the cliff of an icy mountain. If you looked down at the edge, if we our only way out is if we jump, we would certainly die because it was a really high up ledge. But I go to the left and I literally go down like a slip and slide, kind of like an avalanche at the top. You're just sort of like at the top of an avalanche on top, just riding it down. And in my brain, as like a lucid moment, I'm like, this is easy and this is fun, you know? And so it was this fun sort of, and and I remember getting to the bottom and thinking that I was so glad that I chose that, that, that it happened that way, because it certainly would have obviously ended in death. <laughs> I mean, like, it's pretty extreme. Not preferential. Not preferential. But I went that way and sort of the tail end of it was like, well, how easy was that? And that's sort of how it came about. And I don't typically remember dreams and that I remembered. Wow, that's amazing. I love this dream. So did you say you had to jump like you were in danger? Somebody was pursuing you or something or it was I, just the only way down? It was the only way down. Okay. It wasn't um, like a panic stricken type dream. It was just like, okay, uh, the only way we can get out yeah. is to jump and this is going and we're going to die. Awesome. I love that feeling. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a feeling of weight. I actually, uh, I just sent out a letter to um, kind of a New Year's letter where I talk about the weight of that particular moment. Um, in fact, I actually feel like I should read it to you. So I'm going to pull that up um, <clears throat> because I feel like it's part of the interpretation. So it's super interesting that we just sent out this letter to uh, people that are on our, our mailing list and really just a lot of friends, um, you know, welcoming them to the new year and uh, just encouraging them. But we sent out uh, with it a picture uh, and it's a picture of it looks like the front of El Cap, like the north face of El Cap on a guy that is about to jump like he's base <laughs> jumping. So, yeah, exactly. That's crazy. Yeah, it's uh, it's super interesting. Let me um, let me find this for you, because. Uh, I feel like this is. Uh, this is pretty cool. Let me, uh, let me get this picture for you, too. I got to share my screen real quick so you can. All right. So I don't know if you can see that or not, <laughs> but that looks familiar. Yeah. So it's the idea of, uh, you know, this guy obviously has already jumped. Mm -hmm. So it's just uh, being at the at the top of this at the top of the cliff. But <clears throat> the top of the cliff represents a decision point in your life. It represents an area that you need to make a determination on what you're going to do next. Um, and this is, this is what I, I talk about. Um, of 
Greatness is coming and it's headed your way. The fruit and faithfulness of the last season will be evident in the hyper acceleration of this new season. I would say get ready, but I would wager that you already are. Many of us are standing on the precipice of the greatest moments of our lives thus far. We are feeling the weight of history and the culmination of years of preparation. And now it is time to jump, to launch, to propel ourselves headlong into our futures with everything that we have and all that we are. Moments like this define our lives. It is in the moments of shift or change of direction, the pause before the flight, when the calm breeze is at your back and the large expanse of the unknown lies before you, beckoning you to jump. It is in this moment when warfare is intense and we evaluate ourselves and we hear the silent whisper say, but am I enough? Taste that moment, feel the weight of your history and the history of your ancestors heavy upon you as you, as they lean forward in the cloud of witnesses with anticipation of your decision. Will you launch or will you shrink back? But we are not of those who shrink back and the launch itself is imminent. It is decided because of who you are, your identity and destiny brought you to this place. You would not be on this cliff if you are not the one to jump. <clears throat> And though for some, for some there is hesitation in the moment, it is really just the selah, the pause and reflect before the adrenaline rush of catapulting into the purpose of your existence. So feel the moment, feel the rumblings in the pit of your stomach, the nervous energy in your knees, feel the trembling of your heart, the chill down your spine and the goosebumps on the back of your neck. Live in that moment, take it all in, experience it to its fullest. But who taught you that those feelings were fear. No, it's the anticipation of the history you are about to make of the moment that you are in. It's simply a herald of the greatness to come and a sign that you are on the right path. So feel it all and then jump. So, so two things, okay, that you just um, said, not to take over your video here, but two things. Number one, you said um, that you don't feel like you're enough. I have a podcast called Don't Worry, You're Enough. Oh, <laughs> like, wow. number one. Number two, Dela, which um, in a meditation, uh, one of, it's a unique name. I know it's not a name, but in a meditation, I had like my spirit, uh, if you believe in spirit guides and things like that, angels, their name was Sela. So, mm -hmm. So two wow. things jumped out at me. And I know so, Selah is a, a you know, a yeah. typical biblical sort of word. Um, but those two things jumped out at me when you were saying that. Wow. And that's all very recent. So well, it's awesome too. And obviously the idea of being on a mountaintop <clears throat> and also an icy mountain, I believe, reflects the season. It's coming out of a season of winter. Mm -hmm. And it's like the only way out of this is to jump. You could stay there, but, you know, how long are you going to live on the top of the mountain? And so I love the fact of what happens. And, of course, in our picture, it's a base jumper. So what feels like an intense moment of, oh, my gosh, am I going to die? You know, how am I going to survive this? This could be really bloody and nasty and ugly and hurt a lot or just be a sudden splat. Really turns into this fun, exhilarating ride that you're like, oh, my gosh, that was so amazing. Right. That was so cool. And it's, you know, and again, it's the whole idea of trusting Jesus. So I feel like there's been something in a winter season, um, at least it's been a winter season in an area of your life that God is challenging you to take the jump. And he's letting you know that it's going to be a whole lot better than you could possibly imagine. Sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So cool. Thank you. So, yeah, when you jump, let me know and let me know how it turns out. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> one step at a time. One step That's all time. you need is one step if you're standing on the edge of a cliff. <laughs> Woo! Wee! Awesome. Thanks for calling in, Diane. Thank Appreciate you. It. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.